Actually, before we do get into the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring today's Rocket League video. This site provides flexibility and safety to every single order. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do some insane deals on there. And use code Zenic at checkout to get yourself 3% off every single order. Do you guys want to be in with the chance of winning yourself this Dueling Dragons goal explosion? And if the answer is yes, make sure you are following these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on to not miss out on a future upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on today's video. And third of all, comment your details down below. But as well as that, tell me which platform you are on. And I wish every single one of you the best of luck. The winner will be announced at 90,000 subscribers. So as you guys can see on screen right now, in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare for the Haunted Hello update coming out in less than 24 hours. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel once again. I hope you're having a fantastic day as always. And today, I'm going to be showing you episode 4 of the brand new series going from one single key all the way up to the Titanium White Nero Agitator. Okay, so previously on the series, I showed you guys how to bulk sell really hard to sell items and get yourself a load of pure keys and black markets. So honestly, if this is your first time ever seeing this series, make sure you are checking out episode 1, 2 and 3 because that way you can get more tips and tricks and you can get caught up with the series. And if you guys did not know already, we are trying to go for 100,000 subs by the end of the year so honestly if you are new to the channel make sure you are clicking that red subscribe button and turning on those post notifications to not miss out on a daily Rocket League upload and as always if you guys are enjoying the series and you want to see another episode out in just a couple days time make sure you are crushing 1,000 likes in the very first 24 hours and that'll be absolutely nuts and yeah Let's just get to the very first trade. Hope you guys do enjoy. Okay, so from the past couple of episodes, we've actually been making profit from buying and selling black markets. And as you can see, or you will see on my inventory, we're just sat here with a load of black markets. We've got like no trash items. We've got no like random ads, no crates or anything. We've literally just got black markets and keys. And I'm not going to lie. This is actually a very good position to be in because we've got a decent amount of keys. That means we can expand our inventory. Just keep on buying and selling black markets and see where it takes us, to be fair. And I found a guy with a hellfire. Uh, I sort of regret doing this trade at the same time because he was one in like six keys, I'm pretty sure, to start with. Knocked him down to five. But you're going to see how hard it is actually to sell the hellfire. So if you guys remember the previous episode, we actually picked up a hex tide for four keys and a non-crate very rare. And I checked the spreadsheet today and it's still somehow seven to nine. I have no idea what they're doing on there because they've actually changed the prices on so many items. I'm pretty sure they moved down slipstream, streamline's gone down in price as well. Biomass has gone down, labyrinth's gone down. Loads of black markets have dropped. And I just don't understand why Hexide hasn't. Like, it's it's an old decal. No one really cares about it. But realistically, it means we can get good trades like this. So we're getting an orange octane. That's about six keys. Hex is about another four. So pretty much just literally getting 10 keys from a Hexide and a Toon. Okay, and a main tip I can give to every single one of you before you do trades. If you're not comfortable or not confident in a trade, make sure you are checking the spreadsheet first. Don't even worry about being rushed by someone. Take your time in trades. You need to be patient. They can be patient as well. If they're not patient with trades, it's not even worth it most of the time because they're going to peer pressure you either into adding or just accepting the first deal you get. So what you want to do is just go onto RL Insider. That is the website I use. It's the best place to get your prices, honestly. And I shouldn't have done this trade looking back because I didn't. I, I was stupid. I didn't check the price and Slipstream actually drops a little bit on the spreadsheet. So paying seven keys is actually quite average to be fair. And undeniably, this is the best post and the best method to make yourself profit. Hands down, regardless, whatever trader you are, all you need is one key in your inventory. That is literally it. And you can get the ball rolling with this method. So what you want to do, if you're even if you're a big trader, small trader, I literally do this on my main account. And I have got hundreds of black markets from doing this method. Literally from paying one key per. So what you want to do is say you've got one key and you want any black market. And most of the time, you're going to be saying, like, there's going to be people saying two keys. But you just don't want to budge, especially if it's a solar flare or a tune. Maybe singularity adds a little bit to one key. But most of the time, you'll get tunes and solar flares for one key permanently. And I'm not going to lie as well. This method actually worked out so much better before I did the nothing something. But I could not care less about losing a little bit of profit if it means you guys at home are making that profit. I literally could not care less. That's why I do giveaways. That's why I do building a fan stream car. Most of the time, I don't even care about giving stuff away as long as it's to fans and people that support me because I 
it's, it's literally the only way I can support you guys by, by giving away some free items and making your day. So that's why I do that sort of stuff. But yeah, this is a basic trade right here. Obviously getting rid of the slipstream for about 8 to 9 and the tomb for 1 to 2. And it's also adding a random car as well. So don't mind taking that trade at all. And I'm not going to lie, I was actually confident that I'll be able to get myself like 5 or 6 keys for the orange octane. I'm not even joking when I'm saying this. The most I got offered in a whole 24 hour period was 3 keys and tiny ads. So... I'm obviously not going to be taking that whatsoever. So eventually I found a guy. Also wet paint as well has dropped on the spreadsheet since I bought it. Typical stuff realistically. But yeah I don't mind doing this trade at all. Because I'm getting myself a few of the new crates. Uh, which are probably a key maybe. Like I don't even know what the new crates price are. If you've got new crates. Get them gone because they're going to be dropping. And also a mainframe as well. Which I know is about I think 7 keys right now. So yeah. Kinda, I literally cannot complain about that trade. Probably get myself some more pure keys. So it's probably got to the point in the video where you're like, right, okay, so how are you actually preparing for the update coming out tomorrow? And what I'm doing right now is actually trading a load of stuff away and just trying to get myself as many pure keys as possible because... I'm not even joking when I'm saying this. When the golden pumpkins drop, you want pure keys because you can buy and sell them so easily and you can make yourself so much profit. I did it on my main account before, except I open them, obviously. I need content. So I did a massive golden pumpkin opening. But if you are a trader, you can make so, so much profit from buying and selling the pumpkins. As soon as they release, just pay one key and they'll go up over time. Even if you want to quick sell them, I'm pretty sure you can sell them for two on day one. So yeah. There's a big possibility you can make a lot of profit. Just get yourself loads of pure keys. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's going to be impossible for you to buy golden pumpkins without keys. But it's just going to be a lot easier. And that's the case for every single update as well. When the new crate drops, everyone was just looking for keys in black markets. And most of the time, keys were more successful for me at least anyway. But yeah, it's going to be really hype when the update does come out. And if I haven't told you already, I'm going to be showcasing whatever is in the golden pumpkin literally tomorrow i'm gonna be the first youtuber to get it up i'm gonna grind it out so make sure you are subs to the channel that's all i'm saying but here is a little basic trade normally i would want a little bit more for intrudium but what that's actually one of the black markets that drops in value it's around five keys right now so i kind of complain about that so 99 percent of the time i will wait for the maximum amount of profit i can make on a certain item but there comes to a point where you've got to just do a little bit of a bulk deal if you find a guy with loads of keys. And today is the day where I'm doing that. I'm just I'm just getting myself all of the keys. I'm going all out. Look at my inventory right now. It is shrinking so much. Once this trade's done, I'm going to be left with a load of trash. But I could not care less because look at the key count. Look at the opportunity we've actually got. We can just keep on buying and selling more expensive stuff now. We could probably invest into Crimson Octanes, Dissolver. Maybe try and get some White Dracos or something because... That way I can make myself a lot more profit per trade if that makes sense. So honestly don't even mind taking this trade. Would normally wait for 13 but I could not care less about taking 12. Alright here we go. I'm already envisioning all of the comments coming through about me contradicting myself once again. Saying how amazing keys are and then spending keys again. I'm sorry. <laughs> but literally it's a trade I couldn't turn down. This guy had a storm watch. He really wanted to get it gone. So I literally offered him 3 keys. I know I'm a horrible person for offering 3 keys but... I just want to try and keep my keys right now. I don't want to just keep on buying black markets that I know is going down. Just like Stormwatch, for example. So he said maybe. So he joined the game and he said anything to add. And I just added a random, random, like random words to say random, like three times. What was that? But uh, I'm just going to keep that in. You know what? Screw it. That's just funny. <laughs> but a forest green cyclone. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, forest green cyclone added. I don't even care about doing that trade. And I'll tell you what. That's what daily uploading does to you. Um, I've just been completely grinding out trading. I've had minimal sleep. But still, I just want to make sure I'm daily uploading the whole of October. November might be a different story. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that just shows how much. I just want to bring out content for you guys. That's all I'm saying. But here's just a little basic trade. I don't know if I'll regret this because it's probably going to be a key wasted. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to shift this. But I just thought I could not complain about getting a Tactician Cobalt of the brand new wheel from the new crate. From the Vindicator crate. It is the Neo yo if I'm not mistaken. So, realistically, I don't mind doing this trade. It doesn't matter too much. Um, it's Tactician, so hopefully we make a little bit of profit. All right, and I'm telling you guys now, because if it's honestly still working at this point, make sure you are adding it to your post. Just say, even if it's like right at the end of your post, just make sure you're putting have one key, one any black market, because I honestly didn't think I'd be able to get this so many times in this series so far. I've literally got it six times. And obviously, if I'm telling you guys all these tips and tricks, there's going to be more people doing it, so there's going to be less for me to get, I guess. But... It still works an absolute charm, and even if you get in just random solar flares, random tunes, really, if, even if you want to just quick sell it, you can get one key in as every single time. It's literally guaranteed profit, so 
like I said so many times, I really kind of complain about that trade. And that is going to wrap things up for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And like I said at the start of the video, we are literally less than 24 hours away from the Haunted Hallows update. So make sure you are subscribing to the channel, turning on that bell to not miss out on any future content. And if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you are crushing that like button. Let's go for 1,000 likes in the very first 24 hours for another episode out in a couple days time. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.